I grew up in the South Bronx, the Hunts Point section of the South Bronx. The summer I turned eight years old, my brother was killed as a result of, of gang warfare. It was a really difficult time to be a kid. I knew that education was gonna be my way out because if I did well in school, I'd be able to go away to a great college, and I kept that plan. Hunts Point is the poorest zip code east of the Mississippi in the poorest congressional district in the nation. Uh, there's a 35% on-time graduation from high school. The talented kids are taught to measure success by how far they get away from communities like ours. And I really wanted to challenge that idea. Why are we only using our landscape for the kind of things that only wealthier people can afford to avoid? Because you don't have to move out of your neighborhood to live in a better one. I started working on things like linking jobs in the environment, literally transforming spaces into the kind of beautiful places that people could see themselves reflected fondly. The people in, in this community could be the ones who were also responsible for some of that work happening. The city was going through this major um, thing where they were doing a sustainability panel and they were they invited everybody except me <laughs> and I was like wow I, I am out here all on my own and I know I'm doing really good work and I know I could do better if I had some more resources I happened to be invited to the Clinton Global Initiative they introduced me to Majora Carter I sold roofing materials and Majora wanted to plant trees on roofs amongst other things. We have absolutely nothing in common. Nothing. <laughs> um, you know, he's, he's this Jewish guy from Jersey. Now I'm a black chick from the South Bronx. Barry clearly had a lot of different options for people to support. The coordinator came up to me and he said, Barry's interested in funding you for $100,000. And I sat there and cried. And so to hear that just like threw me. And, and I was like, oh my God, who is this man? And, uh, when I saw him, I think I just wrapped my arms around him, and he's just like, okay. <laughs> uh, you're cool and all, but come on. Um, then he was great. He just saw something that he wanted to support, and I deeply, deeply grateful for that. I'd love to thank him, but, um, I think she's done great, and I think she'll continue to do great. Uh, she's committed to it, environment, uh, and, and helping people. I, I just hope uh, she continues well in the same direction. Thank you.